Nam yo honing gecko, 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 nam yo honing gecko. Hi, I'm Margaret, and this is the channel where we've been looking at Buddhist philosophy and practice and applying it to the problems of everyday life. Over the last six years, I've been studying our Buddhist literature for direction on how to create benefit with the practice. It began when I had a website for new people, but they were not the ones writing me. The people writing me were those that were dealing with problems and not getting benefit. I was perplexed. I felt this shouldn't be the case, as this is such a powerful practice. But put a problem like that in front of a former therapist, whose toolbox is looking at what isn't working in someone's life and tweaking it so it does work, I couldn't resist. Some people feel that this is a simple practice, and at one level it is, but as I've explored it, I've discovered more and more subtle aspects to it which can impact whether someone will receive benefit. Since then, I've created 100 videos on different aspects of our chanting practice which might impact getting benefit. And I feel that I've come to the end of what I hope to do on this topic. Our Buddhist practice is teaching us some of the laws of the universe, for example, the law of cause and effect and the law of oneness of life and its environment. We're learning as we chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo that we are one with the universe and have a spiritual side, and we're learning to rely on it to produce results in our lives, rather than looking to our circumstances to tell us what we can and cannot do. As I studied, I realized that the literature gave hints, hints, mind you, of further directions. I became very curious and wanted to see if there were other universal laws which would be important to know. Because of my training as a counselor, I've always been fascinated with the mind and the way it works, and why people become stuck in their lives, and what's needed to release them to move forward. As I studied, the realization grew that when we work with the laws of the universe the way they work, the more successful we will be. It's just like with the law of electricity. The law of electricity was always around, but it wasn't until humans learned to harness it and work with it that we could have the benefit of electricity in our daily lives. If a lamp doesn't come on, we don't say the law of electricity doesn't work, we try to understand how we aren't connected up correctly. Like that, I believe that if our lives aren't working, we aren't working with the laws of the universe the way they work, but rather the way we think they should work. I believe we humans are on the brink of an evolutionary leap, where we're discovering how the rational mind, the intuitive mind, and the subconscious work, and how they connect with the superconscious the ninth level of consciousness, in order to create our lives. In other words, whole brain functioning. Although in its infancy, we're also learning about the quantum level of creation and how thought can influence it. All this exploration is exciting as we're learning how to master ourselves so that we can create our lives on purpose and not by accident. Science and spirituality, which have been in different silos and not communicating, are beginning to work together. I've connected with others who are interested in how the mind works and how to apply other spiritual laws along with the ones we know to help people get off dead center, get unstuck, and achieve their dreams. And I've discovered a whole coaching community who are working with clients. Fascinated by how people grow and develop, I decided to become a certified coach and develop a coaching business. Since then, I've greatly expanded my understanding of how we create our lives if we work with the universal laws the way they work and understand better how the mind works. I've decided to change direction on this channel and continue with a non-Buddhist vlog where I can share what I've learned. I hope those of you who are interested in this topic will come along with me. I will begin my non-Buddhist vlog on the first Thursday of next month, 
and after that we'll post on the first and third Thursdays of the month. I will continue to answer Buddhist questions by email if you contact me directly at margaret at margaretblaine.com. My Buddhist videos will continue to be available on YouTube. I have loved creating these videos and connecting with all of you. The vlog has led me directly into this next direction, and I hope we can continue on this great adventure together. See you the first Thursday of next month.